As you like my pleasure. No, they have not fixed my roof yet. All right, y'all. It's your main man, Master Self. I'm here in this leather jacket because apparently people think it makes me look cool. So I'm wearing it. Now, Bibby. For a song. Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I've been lacking, slacking a little bit this season. And yes, it's really only the third show I picked up that's actually new to this season. And I actually could have talked about this a while back, but I wanted to do the thing where I was caught up to the show before I talk, talked about it. And I wanted to talk about it today because I planned to because I thought the next episode was coming out. But apparently that ain't coming out till next week, the 8th. So, yeah. Either way, I'm here now. So we're going to do this. Sorry if this video is edited. I didn't want to do the normal style I do to just throw things out because I actually kind of want to sit down and just talk about this for a minute, especially since I got half a series to cover in six episodes. Now, first impressions. Hey, hey, it's first impressions on Bibi, right? Here's the thing. Diva, out the gate, just out the gate. I know there's different things people look for in anime, so this is never going to apply to anybody besides the person actually saying it. But as I can tell, for me, this show is the whole package. This Wit Studio original is a whole package anime. This show, bro, I'll be 100. You ain't watching this show this season. I don't know what the hell you're doing. I don't know what's going on if you ain't watching this show. I actually have not looked into the fan base or the number of fans, I guess, that's going on with this show. So I'm not sure how many people have picked this up or was actually watching this. So I don't know how mainstream it is or how mainstream it's not. But I have seen a couple of things on Tumblr of people saying they wasn't originally going to pick this show up. And they're glad they did. Because this show gets you hooked, son. Let's just talk about context. Let's just talk about that context. Let's just talk about the show itself. Just what you get diving into the show. Straight up. Character design for this show is off the chain. I ain't going to hold y'all. When I first watched it, I had to make sure Bones did and do it. You know why? This show is just like Karen Tuesday. It looks a lot like Karen Tuesday. Which was top anime the year it came out. So, if you didn't watch Karen Tuesday. Anyways, beautiful. Straight up. And the animation, Jesus. Bruh, I'm gonna get more into that in a minute, but just bruh, visually stunning. Remember when I was talking about Burn the Wish and Akadama Drive, when I had to pick between what is clean and crisp and what is juicy and drip? Right there in the middle, that's what this show is. Got both of it, son. Both of it right there in the middle. Like I said, whole package it right there. Beautiful, son. It's beautiful. And the soundtrack is the type of sound. Well, which studio normally does this anyways? I have to shout out which studio for that for a soundtrack. Even if Solano's not doing it, dope as hell. I don't know who does the soundtrack. Right? As you like my pleasure, that's a dude, that's a dope ass song. I can see why he's on this motherfucker. <laughs> and sometimes just the transition. Like you know when you have a conflict in the show. And it takes a couple episodes to resolve, and when it does resolve, and they get back into it, and that opening just hits in the middle of one of the performances, just that is just slick the way it just get into it like that. That is clean. See, see what I'm saying right there? It's clean, slick. You know what I'm saying? Right there in the middle. It's both. <laughs> so Bibi's off the freaking chain, bro. Also, just from the you know the type of show it is, of course, the thing is about AIs and just trying to prevent. The travesty is happening a hundred years in the future when this show just at the base is already futuristic as hell. That's another day that compares to Carol Tuesday. This show just takes place like in a futuristic setting. I'm not even sure how much in the future they even intended to do. But bruh, that's saying we got like flying cars and all that shit. But you just short become human. If you, if you even know it, just fuck it if you played it. If you heard it, but I, I need to say less. Like, bruh, technology in this show is off the chain. It looks good. I see those smartphones who be walking around in. Bro, those smartphones, they, well, I'm recording with my phone, so I can't show you. But, you know how phones nowadays, just the whole screen is the front? Their phones don't even aid with that. They got this still little piece at the end, like one of those knockoff phones. It still looks better. Damn. <laughs> As you know, we got to do better. Even though I'm done buying new phones, I don't know. People want me to get an iPhone. That's off subject. But, uh, bro, this show is just a Visibly, visibly amazing. And the aesthetic of the show is off the shade. First and foremost, I gotta be real. Vivi, I know she's an AI. I know she is. But the appearance of a badass grown woman whooping ass. Shout out to Quentin Tarantino. That's my aesthetic in life. 
Anyways, with that being said, <laughs> Kill Bill. Anyways, <laughs> with that being said, damn. Because it's not really, I don't know if I want to store the saving tag on the show, but it is a very mature type of thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, the typical things for anime, you know, that most of the time in anime nowadays just go around to, like, you know, the high school stuff. You know, all over the place that happens. This show is not that. And, but with me personally, like I said, that's better for me. I, I appreciate that more. I don't need to go back to school. <laughs> not even with the whole thing with college. Yes, it's a different feel. Yes, it's a different mindset and all that stuff. But still, you know what I'm saying? This show doesn't, and this show doesn't even go through, like, the day-to-day -day real world tactics kind of thing like the guy like when you do have shows that don't center around school you have shows that center around people's jobs and stuff with the recreational all that kind of thing Vivian doesn't do none of that like besides being the AI uh well I don't want to call it idol single singer ain't nobody working <laughs> not really now with that being said all that out of the way good ass animation good ass soundtrack good ass aesthetic let's get to the show itself Diva. Diva. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, her mission is to make people happy through her singing. Simply is not the plight. <laughs> her mission, right, is to stop AI from killing everything <laughs> in a hundred years. With the help of an AI Masamoto. I, I know I'm saying that wrong. Masamoto, Masamoto, that's you somewhere in that name. It's supposed to be silent. I'm saying it wrong, but you know what I'm talking about. They kind of inhabited the bear that she got a long time ago. And can I say, like, the fact that Vivi doesn't age is very helpful because this show just be jumping. I, I know we try to stop at things. I, I don't know how many episodes this show is going to have. I know we're going to stop a show, something that's happening 100 years in the future. But not only is that easily speeding up through the plots and stuff. I'm jumping around, yeah. Easily speeding up time and they can't keep up with the time anymore. How are you going to dip out after the first mission for 15 years? <laughs> That is to be back after another five. That just shows how quickly time is moving, right? <laughs> it shaves off ten years from him to have to come back again. Even though it's not even completely up to Master Lord from the time he's revived to come back. But, but man, this show gets into some dark themes. That's another thing. I might just need to take back what I said earlier and just throw the same attack on this thing. Because this show, on an emotional level, Easily takes it down. Cause first of all, murder, right? This that's when you have that line right there. It says something. And of course, here's the thing, right? This show is told a lot through AIs and shit. Now AIs, while in the human perspective, I post to just do what humans say. But does that ever work? These AIs do not hesitate to show you, not even say verbally, just show you through watching the show how in tune they are with emotions. Even if Vivi herself seems a little bit tone deaf when it comes to emotions, she easily has them distributed through her actions and her thought process. You know what I'm saying? Her morals conflicts what she's doing all the time, but she does come through with freaking decision. And also, that's Molo is very eccentric. Like, <laughs> Also, at the same time, it's a bit throw out there. The reason why I'm really late when it comes to watching this show, because you know when I tell y'all that normally I watch a random episode to help me get caught up on the way to work, on the way off of work, I cannot tell if either it was hard for me to pick up this show in the beginning or am I supposed to be just talking fast as hell. <laughs> I cannot keep up watching this show without being like, like, okay, hold up, cut that, cut that, sit your ass down. Deep the TV, y'all. Get on your phone. Get them headphones on. And pay attention. So, <laughs> and not even the fact that this show was just fast paced like that. Because, yes, a lot's happening. But there's a lot of context. You know what I'm saying? This ain't the show you can just have on the background. Which is weird. And normally when show, I do stuff like that, right? It's not a thirst. Or a lot of action. Where you can just do that. But a lot of context and stuff like that. Like I said earlier with the animation. This show... Blends that together nice as hell. Where you can't miss a beat. Like, you miss any part of anything you tripping. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna get it. You're not gonna get it. Matter of fact, I feel bad for folks who reacting to this. 
extra after, you know. So, but, but yeah. That being said, this video is already 10 minutes. Let me get back to some shit. Bro, another big play for this show. Now, we know I've talked plenty about the animation, but the biggest talking point with the animation in this show has to be the freaking close-ups. It has, you know those moments where they close up on Vivi, Diva, and this the attention, the detail, I would say. Because it's not even the fact that how much they make it look realistic, it's just how much they make it look so detailed. And, and how, how I want to say it. God, nigga. Like, for real. And his, the thing about that moment is, it's kind of like that plays on the whole thing with the emotions I was talking about earlier. Like, not only do they use that, it's not, it doesn't, it never feels overused. But it always feels like it's used at the right time. Like, every time shit happens, we're either in a deep moment, or that's what I was talking about earlier when I, t when I told you, when you see shit like that happening, sit your ass down and pay attention, son. Like you, you see Viva's face get real like that. That is her. That 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 is her message to you. You better not be doing shit else while this is on right there, son. You better not be doing nothing else. <laughs> but man, it just stuff like that. And the emotion hits for real when that shit does. You just you just feel this show. It's like the moments and, and and honestly, it's not even Vivi. It's really not the moment that hooked me for real, for real in this show. It was one of the episodes, I don't remember exactly which episode I finished the show. It was, you know, when they had the twins, right? Elizabeth, that bitch, bruh. And shout out to Fuckboy. I don't know, I don't remember his name like that. He's in every conflict. He was Elizabeth Master. He was in the last episode, fucking up again. We had to save him in the beginning. I know he's gonna be real together, but he ain't going nowhere. But you think after the 15 plus 5 and getting saved the first time, after 20 years, and then having to see Vivi three times, right? You would get off the bullshit. How long can a person keep bullshitting? Don't answer that. But man, it's just that it was that powerful Elizabeth, right? And she was getting and she was getting heated. She was just mad. Like I'm saying, the whole thing with AI is an emotion. She was getting just getting pissed off. And but she got beat up by Vivi a little bit beforehand. So her voice started to get real distorted. And it's just like, whoever mixed and mastered this was fucking gangster as hell. And, bruh. And while she was young, you just held that distorted voice. And she was trying to do, do the punches and shit like that still. But Vivi was stopping her. They were trying to go at her sister and shit. And all that rage and shit was just coming out. Oh my god. Like, bruh. That was the most emotionally compelling scene I have so far. Yes, I know what happened in the end of episode six. Old boy shot himself. Baby was fucking heartbroken. Destroyed. That's her singing couldn't do shit for the guy. Especially since she had to take out Grace beforehand. Yes, episode six was heavy. It was. It was. But that part with Elizabeth, that was it for me. That was it for me, bro. I was like, bro, this show is untouchable. That, that was untouchable. You know what I'm saying? And episode six is the moment for you. All we could do is just sit both here, just sit here and agree. This show just god damn. Who wrote this? I, was, I need to go ahead and get on with Wit Studio. I do. Shit, you know I'm working on something. I don't know, you can... All I'm saying. Man. Y'all come on with Vivi right after the Great Pretender. Y'all about to be the studio of the decade you keep this up. I know there's a lot of competition out there. I mean, every time Bone drops something. But, man. Ah, oh, man. Any follow one. But, man. I don't want, I, I don't want to keep this video going. To, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to talk your head off. I think you get the point. But, man. This show is just wild. This show really is. Fever. Goddamn. Good ass songs. Good ass everything. Speaking of ass. I mean, I guess there's anything else I can talk about. There is subtle fan service shots in this show. It's kind of subtle. I appreciate it. I do. There's some things like you can see people's cleavage. You can see Vivi's cleavage. Her panties are showing sometimes. It's not a lot of fan service. Matter of fact, the moments I just said was only two times. We're cool in Vivi. You want Grace Teddy. There's only three fan service scenes in this show so much, and I appreciate every three of them. Like I said, 15 minutes is too long, so I'm going to get about here. You're watching this video, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I like this video for me. I'll see y'all. Peace out.
We're on that next episode. Red Apes can't come fast enough. <laughs>